today is finally the day after being moved the mast been refurbished boom back on we are finally going to put the sails on and hopefully go for a sail but you know hue and cry you can never count on it What have you done now? You've refurbished the furler, haven't you? Yes. And what did you actually do to it? Pulled it all apart. Yep. Checked all the bearings. Re-cleaned it all completely. Uh, both this bearing here, the top bearing and the bottom uh, three bearings. And then uh, once we did all that, cleaned it all, put it all back together and put all new furling line in as well and uh, tidied the whole thing up made sure it was all moving freely so hopefully it will furl the head saw a little bit easier than what it was doing previously and what's that rope on there for? this is just a, a loose rope from the bottom furler to the top so that when you haven't got a sail on it this can't go up the mast with wind and get stuck uh, because then oh, was there a rope on there, was yeah, there? Yeah, it was just cleated on here. Oh, okay. So it's just a short rope. It's oh. just between the two, two um, snap shackles. And it just stops this going up. And we're putting the Genoa back on, was Genoa it? Genoa back on, yes. Yeah. Yes, Genoa back on. Okay. Simple process <sighs> to clip this on here. And what's that bit there? This is the... Oh, I don't remember whether it's the clue, if it's the clue, clue, it's the clue. Gee, his brain was kicking then. Oh, so what's was, uh, it, what does a clue mean? It's just the, um, it's the section. <laughs> Come on, I got you thinking now. No, you, <laughs> you're on the spot, young man. I'll just stop talking, that'll be. No, what, <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> no, you've got. You've got the head of the sail, you've got the clue of the sail, and you've got the leech. So what's, so the head means the top bit? Head's the top, yep. The, the clue foot. is a... The foot of the sail's the one that sits down along the deck level. Yeah, so what's the clue? The clue, I'm trying to think whether I've, whether I've got it the right way around, whether the clue's at the bottom or the top. The top head, the leech, I think that's for memory the clue. Okay, I might have to figure out what everything is and put it down the bottom. Yeah. Because, you know, he is getting old, he's retired now and he's getting old and he can't remember shit. You know, I'm going to pay for this later. <laughs> the bulk rope which slides into our twin furler on the forestay. 
just make sure it's no, no twists. So that's the head of the sail. That's the head of the sail. So when you pull the forestay up, number two, that goes all the way up. So put the halyard on. Always check that you've got no twists in your halyards, especially at the top of the nail. It's all free and clear. Last thing you want to do is hoist something up and have a twist up there and it just bind on you and you can't get the thing back down. Especially if it suddenly becomes an emergency situation where you need to get them down. So, yeah. Alright, so we'll just put the Genoa port and starboard sheets on. It doesn't blow. So what are the sheets? What are the port and starboard sheets? What do they do? Uh, well, they're the, the, the ropes that go through your pulleys, so you can adjust your head salt shape. And go from side to side? Side to side, yeah. Okay. For tacking, driving, etc. A lot of boats have a red and a green, so that you can remember port and starboard. Um, we've just got both the same colour. That's what the boat came with until they wear out um, because of the expensive ropes these days. Um, yeah, we'll just use what we've got. Um, So we've got to put this, this sheet go. through. So I know this is called a traveller. A track. A track. Oh, a, a track. Yep. So why do we have different positions it can go into? To adjust for different wind strengths and different sail sizes. If you've got a smaller sail, you can't have it set. The, the further back you go, the more the angle becomes to adjust it on the shape. Oh, okay. So, because this is quite a big sail being about 110%, it comes back, when it's fully on the wind, close, close hauled, um, our headsail comes back past our spreaders. So that's why it's called 100%. 10% because it goes past the mast, yes. is that correct? Yes. from your spreaders forward, oh. or your mast or your spreaders forward is 100% headsail. Yep. So percentage wise you can have 110, 120, 130. And, and that's past the mast, yeah. say? Yeah, so, so you've got a lot more headsail So if it's 90% that means it's just short, short of the mast, yes. okay. And it's usually a 90% would probably be the equivalent of maybe a number 3 headsail. Um, and then you go to a number four, and then you go to start to look at storm sails, um, etc., where you've got very little up, up at, in, at the front. Okay. So, Dave will be pulling on the halyard, yes. which is that one there. One yep. to, the top to make it go up while yep. you thread. I feed it into the, the, the t one of the twin tracks. Yeah, so the. Yep. I don't know if I've got the shown twin tracks there. Yeah. Um, so that's that rope in the. That's the bulk rope in the. The bulk so. rope in there. Yep. And that's going to be fed into yep. the track yep. here. And you can yep. have a bulk rope for, tr for a single or a twin um, 
foresail for your uh, um, yeah and you can have hank on headsails um, which is which, which is, you don't have these do you no you just no. have a, a wire a wire that goes up you just have the wire that's on the inside of this yeah and you just basically this they're like this a, a, a different version of this and you just clip clip them on and the sail goes up the same method yeah you're right to go of trying to roll it up. So John, why was it a bit difficult to get up? Because the sail's old. Um, in places the, the bulk rope's swollen and a bit frayed so it sticks in the slide as it goes up and then you've also got the wind pressure on the sail which is pushing against you as well to try and hoist it so yeah uh, making sure you're spinning during your spare genoa you know, aren't wound in at the top is also very helpful and which we didn't which we didn't initially I thought they would get they'd be clear but because the wind was flapping the sail as much as it was it just they they tended to hook the sail mm. so but it's on it's up we'll tidy things up and then we'll have a look at putting this main on okay so John we've after refurbing the mask and put new pulleys and everything on there we're still having trouble hoisting the main yes we are um, our ma uh, we bought the main as you know uh, as a new main for North Shore but it was for a slightly newer mast than what we had and ever since we've had it we've had to have modifications done to it, slides changed. We still have problems getting it above the spreaders. It goes to just above the spreaders very easily, no problem. And then we think the slides work on each other and as you the further you pull it up the tighter they get because they're jamming as they go up. Uh, we're going to have a, I'm going to double check the old main. Um, the slides I'm sure are the same but I'm just going to double check the thickness. Look at what we've got, adjust what we've got again, uh, try again um, and if that doesn't resolve the issue then I'm going to have to get a, a sail maker in to literally uh, go through the whole thing and fix the problem. Uh, it's no good having a, a, a brand new sail that we can't get up and down. So we, we need to resolve it. Sorry about the wobbly camera, but I just knocked it. Yep. Okay. G'day everybody uh, from sunny Queensland. Well, not really sunny. It's trying to rain here at the moment. Um, uh, the uh, slogan for Queensland was um, great one day, perfect the next. <laughs> At the moment it's cloudy one day, rainy the next. So I um, hope you enjoyed the video of um, us trying to get the, the sail up. If you've got any comments of what we can do with the main, that would be really great. Because um, you know it's frustrating, we try to put it up four or five times now and still haven't been able to get it up. So leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe and press that icon bell. Uh, get notified. Thanks, see you later.